So hello there and welcome to another tutorial. My name is Tender Bakshi and this time we're going to be going over, well, uploading images to Parse. Now I haven't really released a video in quite some time because I've prepare, been preparing for this and another video that you're going to see right after this one. Uh, and so now to, in this video I'm going to be teaching you exactly how you can upload your own photos and images to Parse or real, really any file to Parse, uh, a Parse database really. Uh, and so this is really useful for stuff like chatting apps uh, and I will be creating another chatting app uh, video uh, in which I will tell you how to, in to integrate this. For example, you could upload people's profile pictures. You could allow people to put attachments in their messages, etc, etc. Uh, and chatting apps get more and more complicated just like that. And so I will be teaching you how to do that in another part of this video uh, and the chatting app video. But for now, I'm just going to be showing you a very bare bones app that uploads an image to parse from the web, downloads it again, and shows it in an image view. So let's get started. Uh, and now let me just explain the logic behind this app. Uh, then we'll get over to the Mac part uh, in which I will actually show you the code uh, and how this works. Okay, so let's get started. First of all, let's see. Uh, so basically what's gonna happen is let's say we have the internet over here or someone's website in specific. Okay, and it has all these PHP files, has JS files, HTML. Right. However, it also has a PNG file. Okay. In our case, it's actually JPG, but let's just pretend it's a PNG file. What's going to happen uh, is we're going to find a URL for this PNG file. Okay. And let's just pretend our app is over here. Um, over here. And this is our app. Okay, so now what's going to happen is our app will take the URL. I don't know what's wrong with my marker. Okay, so now it's going to take our URL. Uh, it's going to convert this into NS data, which I'm sure uh, you've heard of if you've seen any of my other Swift Data Races tutorials. Okay, so we're going to take the contents of this URL and we're going to put it into an NS data variable which will be put into, well, I have never ever covered this class before, but it's a parse class, uh, and it's called pf file. Okay, so now essentially this class will allow us to store the NS data as a pf file, uh, and then we will be uploading this to parse. And so let's just say our parse database is over here. This is our back end. Uh, let's just say this is our database, and this is labeled as parse. Okay. Now we're going to take this PF file along with some PF objects. Uh, and then we're going to send these over to our parse database. Uh, or in spe more specific, uh, our parse class. Uh, and so now what we're going to do is, since we've uploaded the image, we actually have to download it and test if it works. And so what's going to happen is we're going to wait for a user to click the screen. So we're just going to present, uh, pretend the user clicked over here. Okay, if the user clicked over here, uh, then what's, uh, they can really click anywhere, but let's just pretend they clicked here. Uh, what will happen is the app will grab um, data from parse. Uh, into the app, uh, and then we'll extract specifically uh, the PF file that we had uploaded, convert this back into NS data, and then convert this to a UI image, which we then put into an image view. More specifically, a UI image view. And so this is the essentially uh, workflow of our app. Uh, we, we have a website in which we have an image. We take its URL. We take its contents, convert it to an NS data. Uh, we take this NS data. Uh, 
put it into a PF file, uh, and then we pair it along with a PF object to name it, uh, and then we uh, put it onto parse, uh, then we download it from parse, uh, back onto our app, then our app takes the PF file that we uploaded to parse, uh, it extracts it from the data that we grabbed from it, uh, it's going to convert that to NS data back, uh, then it's going to convert that into a UI image, uh, and then we're going to put this in a UI image view. And that was the simple explanation of how this app works. Uh, and so now, and one more thing, there's very limited to really no uh, resource that I found online for this. I mean, there were a few, but they were really old. Most of them were in Objective-C, uh, and so they were quite hard to transfer over to Swift. Uh, but now I'm going to be making that much easier for everyone by showing you how to do this uh, in Swift. So let's get over to the Mac part, uh, where I will be showing you the code and, and an implementation uh, of this app. So let's get to it.